Hey Aquarius, it's Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana, and this is a reading for, you know, the next couple of weeks, right? From whenever it resonates to whenever it doesn't resonate any more. That is the length of this reading. Each one of these cards is a physical, mental, and emotional process. So however long it takes you to process, however long it takes anybody else in the reading to process, is how long it takes this reading to process. It's your own individual journey and it's different for everybody. Okay, this is a general reading for the sign of Aquarius. It may resonate, it may not. So I want to let you guys know that I'm using the same deck twice, okay? I have the brand new deck and I have the old deck, okay? This is Tarot Illuminati brand new. This is Tarot Illuminati well used. I've used the Tarot Illuminati brand new to do the root cards and I've used the worn out tried and true Tarot Illuminati to do some clarifying, okay? So you will see most likely repeating cards in this reading. Okay. The, I mean, not just repeating cards, but like the exact same card, right? I just don't want you to be confused. All right, Aquarius, this is a general reading. It may resonate, it may not, okay? If you'd like a personal reading with me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. Most of the time, I don't do an Aquarius or a Capricorn reading because my daughter is an Aquarius, a Western Aquarius and a Vedic Capricorn. And most of the time, I am picking up on her energy. But lo and behold, I can assure you that this is not my daughter's energy because I know what's going on in her life, and this is not her reading. So um, this is for the Collective of Aquarius. If you'd like a personal reading with me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. So a nice surprise, right? Because normally I don't do Aquarius readings, but here's a nice surprise for you guys. So I hope you enjoy it, okay? All right, Aquarius, you start this reading with the Two of Cups energy, right? This is about a love relationship, but I also want to point out that this is about a, a, a love relationship where you have already broken up, okay? So we could do it like this. You have had a love relationship in the past with this person, and you guys broke up. The Empress to the Ten of Wands tells me that it was a burden and a struggle, and it took you a good, long time time to pull yourself together from this breakup. But now you are in the energy of the Empress. You are complete, okay? You're not fractured in your feelings anymore, in your emotions, in your thought processes. You are, you have your mental in check about this situation. You have your passion in check. You have your feelings in check and you have your security in check about this situation. Like I said, with the Ten of Wands, it took you a good long minute with burden and struggle to recuperate from this breakup. The Five of Cups comes in and says that, that there were feelings of despair and disappointment. The Prince of Cups says that, oh, lo and behold, to the Eight of Wands, this person is coming back into your life, Aquarius. This person is coming back into your life with a message of feelings, okay? And all you can do is remember the five of cups. All you can do is remember the feelings of loss, regret, disappointment, and despair that took you so long to get over. So you go into the high priestess mode, right? You go into the high priestess energy and you really search your subconscious mind and your intuition because this Prince of Cups has brought communication to you about changing, about, about um, having action and an energetic movement in the relationship between the two of you. This puts you in the energy of the hangman, right? Pausing processing, surrendering to what you think and feel about this situation. And you come out of the hangman energy in the energy of the queen of swords. The queen of swords is a quick thinker. She's organized, perceptive, independent. She's stern, but she's flexible. She makes judgment without relying on her emotion. And she looks at all of the facts before making a decision. She makes her decisions from logic, reasoning, and intellect. And that's what you're doing right here. What you're doing is reflecting on the information from the past to make a decision for your future. 
what was in the past is the five of swords. What was in your past is conflict, tension, loss, defeat, betrayal, and mind games. The moon card says that there were secrets. There were secrets. So this queen of swords, you Aquarius, taking on the energy of the queen of swords, sitting in your power as the empress, you look back on what happened with this prince of cups before, right? Before you search your intuition, your subconscious mind, you make sure that this is a solid, clear decision right? Because all you can remember is the seven of swords. <coughs> Sorry, all you can remember is the seven of swords, the betrayal, the deception, the shady behavior from the past, okay? This creates, this reemergence of this Prince of Cups creates a tower moment in your feels, a tower moment in your mental, a tower moment in your life, right? It's just upheaval and chaos because you're good as the empress and it took you a long time to get there. And now this person is coming back in wanting to change this relationship and it creates a tower moment for you, upheaval and chaos. The eight of cups says, you know what? I'm good, bro. I'm just going to keep on walking. I am just going to walk away from this whole thing that you're bringing to me. To the Two of Swords. This Two of Swords is about dealing with your blocked emotions. Okay? Dealing with your blocked emotions. And that's what you did in the High Priestess, right? And the Hangman. Okay? You went inside and you gave it a second thought. You did. You gave it a second thought, but you came out on the other side with the energy of the Queen of Swords. And the Ace of Wands says, now you're taking inspired action to create your own power in this situation. Seven of Swords, breaking free from the mental challenges associated with this. And this brings a sense of justice, right? Justice number one, you are vindicated because this punk comes back, wants to apologize and redo things. Number two, it's cause and effect, right? What's the cause? The cause is you standing for yourself with the Queen of Swords and the Empress. What's the effect? The effect is absolute mental clarity. The King of Pentacles says that you are reclaiming your power, not even reclaiming. You are keeping the power of this Empress. You are, you are keeping your own security. You are having control and you are in your power in this situation and you are walking away from it. You are not going to get back together with this Prince of Cups. You are not going to entertain him. You are staying strong. You're making a very logical, reasonable, emotionless decision about going forward with this shady character from your past. And the Four of Swords comes in and says that this brings peace like a river, Aquarius. Peace like a river. Recuperation, healing, and rest, right? It's just, it, you're done. You're not having anything else to do with this entire situation because you're strong and you've worked hard to get to where you are, Aquarius. There you go. That is your reading for the next two weeks-ish, eh, give or take. Just depends on you and your particular journey, okay? If you'd like a personal reading from me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. Namaste.